Hi, hope you're a great day. You're watching JG Entertainment, and for this video, I'm gonna be going over something very, very big that came out today, uh, or uh, for the time you watched this video yesterday, uh, at so at CinemaCon. And yesterday for CinemaCon, uh, it was Sony's presentation, and we got some very, very big news. Uh, and for this video, I'm gonna be covering the news of Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. So I'm gonna be covering everything that has to do with uh, that. Uh, I'm gonna be covering other news that Sony released and other different videos. So I check that out, then definitely should subscribe so you don't miss any of those videos. But for this video, I'm gonna specify on Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse and uh, the next and the movie after that so that's what i'm going to be supposed to find for in this video so yeah let's break it down let's give you all the info because trust me there's a lot of a lot of info so first of all spider-man across the spider-verse will no longer have part one in the title but would just be called spider-man across the spider-verse um since, but it will still be the first part of the story it's just not going to be called it anymore so that's a really interesting change kind of like how in avengers infinity war and avengers endgame originally it was avengers infinity war part one and then avengers infinity war part two and the changes to avengers endgame it's kind of like that so it's kind of interesting and avengers infinity war was still part one of avengers endgame story um so i'm I'm assuming it's something like that, which I think would be a really awesome story. Um, now, what is the second part going to be called then? Well, in, in the second part of Spider-Man Across Spider-Verse will now be called Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse. And here's the logo. And as you can see, that's really, really cool. I think that looks really awesome. Uh, Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse just sounds really, really cool. I wonder what they're going to do about that. I've heard a lot of theories saying that they're going to get away from animation, maybe in this movie, and go to live action, which I think would be a really, really cool concept. And I can definitely see Sony do that, and, and I think that would be super, super awesome. So we'll see what happens there. But I'm very, very excited for that movie. Then, uh, it was also known that Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse uh, was very recently delayed from October uh, to June 2, or June 2nd of 2023. So it's like a, a pretty big change. Um, this is probably to give the movie a better date, and to give uh, the animators a lot more time to animate both of these films, not just the first part, but also the second part, so they can be pretty close apart uh, at the release date. So I think that's a, overall a good change, but obviously it's so because you want to have the movie as soon as possible, and the fact that they have to get delayed to next year is really, really crazy, and the fact that you know they have to wait over a year for the movie to come out is pretty sad, So, but oh well, it is what it is, you know what I mean? I, I, I guess um, I can't wait for the movie, I'm super, super excited. Now, Beyond the Spider-Verse is slated for the release date of March 19th of 2024. So, it's like less than a year apart from Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, which is really, really cool. So, at least we won't have to wait along between the two movies. I think that's a really awesome release date for the movie as well. So, I think these both movies have really, really nice releases right now, and I think it's going to be super, super awesome. Now, the movie Across the Spider-Verse, which the first part, uh, will have 240 characters in it. For comparison, the original Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse movie had 40 characters in it. So, that's just insane. Like, that's huge huge difference that's 100 characters more so they're gonna go bananas for this movie like really little bananas this movie is so so huge in scope that you can see this with the team working behind it whilst they're the biggest team behind any animated movie ever made with over a thousand people working on it which is super super insane so this movie is going to be massive in scope it's super huge so that's really really good um you know spider-man to the spider-verse was a very contained story yeah it had the multiverse but it was really contained no this one's going to go massive this one's going to explore everything they want to play it safe with this movie they want it to go all out and i think that's a super super cool thing and i think this definitely shows it and just gets me more pumped up and more excited for the, the sequel the movie will take place on six different universes so we're going to see six different universes on across the spider-verse which i think is going to be super super awesome each one comes with their own different art style and a very unique art style and everything. So I think it's going to be really, really cool. I think each one also comes with a different director, which I think is really, really awesome as well. So I think it's going to be make for a really, really nice concept in, in the movie. And I think it's just going to be super, super awesome to see. Um, Peter B. Parker, Spider-Gwen, Miles Morales, Spider-Woman, and Spider-Man 2099 have been confirmed for this movie. Obviously, we don't know Miles and Gwen was going to come as well as um, Spider-Man 2099. 2099 but we weren't sure peter b parker was going to be returning well he is and spider woman has added, joined the cast and she will be in this movie as well so i think that's really 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 cool the audience was also allowed to see the first 15 minutes of the movie um and, and cinemacon which is so sad i wish i would have released the public or something because i i wish i would have been there because i'm so excited for this movie so i don't know spider and uh, spider-man into spider Verse is one of my favorite if not my favorite movie of all time so i, I just I just wish that uh, I could have been there to see, to see the first few minutes. I'm very jealous of those people that got to see it. But uh, I here's a reaction and a quick recap from Eric Davis, which says, Oh, and really quick, before I get started reading this uh, tweet, I just want to give you a warning that uh, this tweet might contain some spoilers for the first 15 minutes, and they do specify some details that we hadn't known yet. So if you don't want to uh, know anything else about the movie, then just don't click uh, click out of this video because uh, I don't want to spoil anything for you that you might not want. Remember, this is just the first 15 minutes, so it shouldn't be really important to the story or nothing. It's the first 15 minutes. But if you're really picky about it, then click out of the video, give it a like, and it would be very helpful. And so yeah, so yeah, have been warned. Okay, now starting to read it, uh, Eric Davis said, Wow, the first 15 minutes of Across the Spider-Verse is amazing. Opens with an insane fighting against Vulture in Spider-Gwen's universe. She is joined by Oscar Isaac's Miguel O'Hara and Issa Rae's Jessica Drew, who is five months pregnant and kicking A. Uh, looks so good. 
folks, hashtag CinemaCon. So uh, that's the first thing he said, which is already super, super impressive. Um, as you can see, the spoiler that I was talking about was that it opens off with the Vulture. So that means the Vulture is in this universe, which is super, super cool. Uh, we'll see if Michael King is playing the Vulture. I wonder who's playing the Vulture, uh, who's voicing the Vulture. I think that would be really, really cool. But it's going to be inspired by Gwen's universe. I wonder how that's going to look. And she's joined by Oscar Isaac. So Oscar Isaac is going to be fighting, which seems super awesome. And uh, Spider-Woman, which I think is super, super cool, who is, seems to be pregnant, which I am very curious to see what that's all about. So Aurora is really, really good. It said that uh, fight scene is amazing. It's really, really good. So that's really, really great. So he said it so far looks good. He also added, what was so impressive about Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse footage was how the action was big and wild and incredibly unique. But also, they managed to dive deep into an emotional moment between spider one and her cop dad. The amount of heart they eke out of 15, minute, uh, of 15 minutes, my god. So, Aurora, as you can see, this movie still can carry that heart, like, really, really heavy heart. I feel like the original movie had so much heart. As you can see, uh, this one's going to keep going with that heart. It's definitely going to show a lot of heart, and I'm so excited to see that movie carry on. As you can see, they said just over the first 15 minutes, you can already feel that, like, emotion and the heart, and just, like, the relationship between Gwen and her the cop dad, which is already super, super cool. So, I'm super excited to know about that. And they said the action is incredibly unique, so I'm really excited to see what the action is all about. Uh, and it's wild and everything, so as you can see, it's just, it's just extremes big blockbuster um but at the same time keeping that super emotional root to it and just keeping it really real which i think is super super important so i'm super excited about that every day race overall ended up saying that across the spider-verse footage was the big winner of the night uh for monday night and everyone was raving about it so everybody absolutely loved it and adored it which is amazing that means that across the spider-verse is definitely in good shape and i can't wait to uh see it i really can't wait it's it's <laughs> it's so far away i'm so sad but it sounds incredibly awesome right now and at least i know that it won't disappoint which is the best part about it so yeah that is the new breakdown that we have and, and all the new info that we have about the across the spider-verse and beyond the spider-verse so yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did and if you found it informative then just make sure to leave a like it really really helps our video so please leave a like um please and thank you as well subscribe for a lot more content like i said i'm gonna be doing more videos on the what the announcements that sony did including uh, another uh spin-off spider-man movie that they announced which i can't wait to discuss so i'm gonna be doing that all uh, of el morto as well i'm doing that whole video and i would think you're gonna enjoy that as well as a lot more stuff especially this whole week as the con continues there's gonna be a lot more announcements and releases so definitely make sure to subscribe for all that content that you, I'm sure you now want to miss. And lastly, just make sure to uh, leave a comment down below with your own thoughts on uh, everything that I said in this video. Um, how excited are you for Across the Spider-Verse? I'm definitely very, very curious. What about this surprise you? What about this makes you so much, so much more excited? And everything, I'm very, very curious to me that down in the comments. And does these first impression reviews make you feel more confident on the movie? I'm definitely very curious. So like I said, tell me that down in the comments. I'm definitely sure to read them and respond. So yeah, and that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And this is JVG Entertainment, out.